What inspired you to write Gulag Girls? Ooh, this is a tale, let me tell you. I was in Eastern Europe in 2018, going through museums and history, and I came across a small clipping of an interview with three women who were you know, in their 70s or 80s, and they were recalling their time in a secret prison. They brought those women back together in that prison cell, and they brought in the female guard who was their torturer. And I thought, I wanna know what happened in that room. I wanna know who these women are. I wanna know what that female guard did. I had never really heard about secret police or gulag at all. I started digging in to that history, learning as much about it as I could, because to do a historical fiction, I wanted to be as accurate as possible. These were real people, and I want to honor their memories and honor what they went through. And I was so shocked by the magnitude of that time. It scaled for almost 50 years, and about 18 million people were imprisoned at one point in time. That really stuck with me, and I thought, let's make a show that will educate, but also entertain people. So this production process has been great, because I was able to team up with some very like-minded individuals at Rising Tide. They have been incredible and passionate about the script, and we cast some brilliant actors from the city. All of these characters are based on people who actually were in Gulag. And all of these events happen, so it's been great to see them really take hold of these parts and these characters and just dig in deep, and they want to know all of the history. They're, they're looking at documentaries, they're reading the books. It's so heartwarming, and as a playwright, just seeing how much they care is so touching to me. It's just such a collaborative, project and I really feel like it's kind of a, a soul project for all of us in a little way. What might surprise audiences when they see this show is that it's got a, a good amount of humor, a surprising amount of humor. I think you're going to laugh a little bit more than you expected and I want the audience to see these characters who are smart and strong and funny. These women are going through something so hard, but they've created this home within each other. You know, it's a very, very hard subject to watch. For some people, I'm sure it can be triggering. The unfortunate part about history is that sometimes it is triggering. And sometimes it does repeat itself. So come with an open heart and an open mind it's been incredible, and I'm so excited to share this piece with the audience.